The Mongol Invasions of Japan, 1274 and 1281, is by Stephen Turnbull, who has written many books for Osprey Publishing and is an expert on Japan's medieval military history. Here Turnbull has done an excellent job at telling the story of how the Mongols launched two naval attacks on, on the western coast of Japan. The sources for these events are not plentiful, but Turnbull makes the best use of what he has. In the second half of the 13th century, Kublai Khan, grandson of Genghis Khan, was establishing his Mongol Empire over the East, East Asia and was interested in conquering Japan to, for its wealth or to, or to help stop uh, Japanese piracy. In 1274, the Mongols launched their first invasion using mainly Korean troops, conquering two small islands between Korea and Japan before landing on the southwest corner of the country. The first invasion was more likely a raid meant to test Japan's defenses, and overall the Mongol forces routed the samurai who were unprepared for the Mongols' tactics. The second invasion, launched in 1281, was much larger, with over 1,500 ships carrying up to 140,000 Chinese and Korean troops. This time, however, the Japanese had prepared their defenses and kept the Mongol invasion force from successfully landing. Turnbull is quite good at, at describing how the fighting took place, even adding in a comical story of how one eager samurai had trouble in trying to reach the Mongol ships so he could prove his prowess. The second Mongol invasion ended in disaster, as a typhoon called a kamikaze descended upon the area and sunk much of the fleet. Using written records and archaeological evidence, Turnbull is able to explain why the Mongol fleet was so decimated by the storm. The book concludes with the legacy of this victory for Japan, and how important this was for the history of the country. Readers interested in these events might also want to get a copy of In Little Need of Divine, Divine Intervention by Thomas D. Conlon, where he translates one of the most important sources about these invasions. Otherwise, this volume, the volume by Stephen Turnbull, will serve as an excellent overview of the Mongol invasions of Japan. It comes richly illustrated and with good maps as well. Having read several Osprey books, this ranks as one of the best this reviewer has seen from them.